Now, when I saw this next gentleman who's going to join me up here on stage, I said, Mark, you are the last gadget standing. I don't know how he does it. Freelance tech journalist Mark Salzman, another one of my absolute favorite people. He, you've written 16 books, I don't know, probably in the last hour. He's a tech journalist for everyone, everywhere. We do some national TV together, but he does a whole lot more without me. And He's Canadian, so he's the nicest guy here. Mark Salzman. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to see Thank you. you. And, All right. And uh, let's hear it for Jen Jolly, who's kicking some ass today. <laughs> that was an awesome intro. Thank you, Jen. Uh, enough about me. Let's uh, go on. Uh, let's jump right in with what's coming next, because you guys are going to love it. Um, so as you know, Captain Obvious here, CES is mostly about looking to the future. You roam the show floors with, you know, uh, hundreds of, uh, of uh, actually over 4,400 exhibitors. Most are focusing on what's coming tomorrow. 8K TVs, flying cars, self-driving cars, wearables, connected home, and so on. A few focus on what used to be cool and bringing it back, right? Touching into that, tapping into that nostalgia of a Polaroid photo or a turntable spinning some vinyl or, uh, you know, you get the idea, right? Um, but even few of, of fewer of those companies add modern conveniences while bringing back something that's retro to make it even better. So that's where things get, to me, very cool. And as a teenager in the 80s, I was super excited to be one of the judges of a product that was sent to me a couple of months ago that you are going to get a, a first look at now. So without further ado, we've got Paul Burns here from Mixtape. Have fun. Hello, hello. My name is Paul Burns. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And before I start your feature presentation, I'd like to ask a question real quick. Who here uses streaming music services? Right, pretty much everyone, right? Spotify is awesome, Apple Music's awesome. That's, that's cool. Another question. Who here enjoys sitting by a fireplace on a cold winter night? Anyone? Yeah. And why is that? It's because of the experience. The warmth, the crackle, the smell, the light, it's awesome, right? The experience is really everything. Mixtape, which is this little guy, if I can get it out of my pocket. Mixtape is all about the music experience. It brings back that tactile, tangible, nostalgic, music experience. It brings it back to you. It brings it back to the people you give it to. Mixtape, it's great if you've got friends that, oh, I'm trying to get you to listen to my podcast, but you won't really listen to it. Oh, here, listen to it on this. People will do that. Or you have a crush, and you're like, oh, I haven't seen you since CES last year. Here's, here's a playlist I made for you. And it's not a Spotify playlist. Here, I'm going to give you this, right? So mixtape is really about experiences. And I think I'm going to have to step up the experience in here just a little bit. So if you guys are ready in the back, go ahead and cue that music. All right, CES 2019, last gadget standing. Let's make this year the year to be serious about the experience, all right? If you guys are ready and you want to have a little bit of fun, stay tuned, because we're about to get into your feature presentation. Here we go. Let's rewind to a happier time when G.I. Joe would save mankind. No Adderall, just a Flintstone vitamin. Yep. Off our bikes we'd fall, we'd get back up again. When you met someone that you really liked, you'd stay up all night to get the music right. Ripping songs from the radio, you'd make a mixtape to hand and to hold. Nowadays, that's a lost experience. That's why this gadget makes so much sense. This is mixtape and it's a cassette. It's old school form, but with all new tech. A screen controls a headphone jack. Transmit, receive, Bluetooth, playback. The memory holds a buttload of music. It's easy enough, Trump Jr. could use it. Oh yeah, before I forget, this gadget plays in a tape deck. 
Saskatchewan standing, y'all. Celebrate and go back to the future now with mixtape. Yep. A mixtape. I got a lot more to say, but there's no time for expanding. This is mixtape, your last gadget standing. So one of the things that Paul mentioned that you might not understand is, you, where is it? Where is the little guy? Well, you can take this and you can put it into a boom box. Do you happen to have a boom box? I, I don't it? have one. Dang it, because you had one last night. I so, did. But to put this in, and I too am a child of the 80s, and that is very, very cool. Now, just explain, there's a, there's a little interface on the front here. You can push play. You can play how, how many different songs does it uh, hold? So there's a couple of versions. Uh, it has eight gigs internal memory, but you can expand it up to 256 with a micro SD card. So basically, you can just pull your whole iTunes library or whatever your library is over to this. And you can put your little headphones. Headphone jack over here, USB-C port, uh, rechargeable battery. Bluetooth, you can connect your phone to it if you want to stream music into a tape deck, or you can just drop this in a tape deck and play it straight from this. You can't actually, this isn't a stereo, you can't listen to music without headphones on this. Uh, headphones, yeah. Bluetooth, or a tape deck is how you'd have to listen. There's no speaker on this, now. I, mean, I pretty much think the tape deck's the coolest thing. Why is nostalgia, I, I, I'm actually doing a story about that this year, why is that still such a thing? Uh, I think it's like people like to remember yesterday, like the good old days, like they're just looking back. The world's a little bit crazy right now, so it, maybe it provides a sense of comfort. You see it all over pop culture with like Stranger Things, Star Wars, music, fashion, pretty much everything. I has read a nostalgia. stat. The sales of cassettes were up 130% last year. Of course, that was from like zero, so I don't know. <laughs> and it's mostly hipsters and kids. Uh, well, all your mainstream artists are doing cassettes now, like Jay-Z, Taylor right. Swift, Justin Bieber, they all do cassettes. Urban Outfitters sells them. Boomboxes are being made again. I'm sure if you walked around the show, you saw boomboxes. I think you had one in your video. I did, yep. uh, yeah. Yeah, nostalgia's hot right now. I never thought a boombox would come back. There's and it is, with a vengeance. Um, what gave you the idea for this? Uh, I have a lot of friends in the music industry, or at least trying to get in the music industry. So I was thinking, like, what would be a really cool way to give like, someone your music? Like, how would you want to promote yourself? And if you hand someone a CD, or you try to email them MP3, they're not going to really pay attention. But if you put it on a cassette, especially a cassette they can listen to right then and there, they're going to pay attention. So have you successfully pitched yeah. on, on by that yet? What do you mean? Like, did you get land any big deals or anything? Um, I had a Kickstarter campaign that did really well. No, I mean, I mean, pitching your friend's music. Oh, no, we haven't started that yet. Okay. Uh, the music's just now so being recorded. So who knows? Maybe right. it's a twofer today. Maybe you, Maybe you so. get a last gadget yeah, standing, you get a Oh, I'd love that. That would be yeah. fantastic. All right, well, let's hear it for the man in the red bow tie with mixtape. Touch of nostalgia.